Hey guys, it's the Friction here, or Tiger Tank 1 2, however you call me, I don't really care, and welcome back to World of Tanks. Today we're going to be playing or watching a game that I had in my T92. Yes, you're right, this is a T92 tier 10 American artillery piece in the ranked game mode. So before we get into the gameplay, let me just clarify a couple of things. First and foremost, I don't really play a lot of ranked. In World of Tanks, I don't really play ranked at all. Like, if I play any other game, Rocket League, Counter-Strike, whatever, usually I only play the ranked modes, but in World of Tanks, because of the time difference since I'm on the wrong server, I cannot really play ranked. Now, I did this time around decide to play ranked because they did overwork the rank mode a bit, and... Um, it's a lot better. They don't have the reward tanks. Nobody is running around with the T95 chieftains. There are no object 907s. There are um, no other tier 10 weird tanks that um, are super overpowered. Well, obviously you still have the object 268 version 4 and all that stuff, but it's ranked. And in the ranked game mode, everyone is firing gold ammo. <laughs> Basically, that's what I've noticed. So we're playing the T92 today because I have basically been playing the ranked game mode with only medium tanks. Because I think that if you're playing ranked, you need something that is mobile, that can get you from A to B very quickly. And uh, probably a tank that has some good camo values because you need to be staying hidden. Because the focus fire in ranked is crazy. So I have learned a lot of things in the last couple of days of having played ranked. I've achieved the maximum rank, um, at least I have uh, reached the um, first division, and I've reached the first division by basically only playing, almost only playing my Leopard 1, the German tier 10 medium tank that was uh, reworked this year around and um, has gotten a lot better. But I've noticed during my time when I was playing the uh, Leopard um, 1 that any time I would queue up, there would be either 70 or 80 artilleries waiting or like over 100 sometimes. And I was really confused because I knew that artillery, obviously, there are only going to be two max artillery pieces in one single game. And that it's going to be taking a bit longer to get into into games when you're playing artillery. So I thought it was just that the people were waiting around and they just had like very long queue times. That is one of the things that is actually happening. You, happening. you have long queue times, yes, but at the same time, it's actually something else. Artillery in this game mode is basically, I would not say it's broken, but this game mode ranked is ideal for the RD player. Now, we're going to watch this gameplay that I had in my T92. I decided to, you know, I want to test out what the deal is about artillery. So I'm going to jump into an RD piece and I'm going to see what it's actually like. And the only tier 10 artillery that I have is the T92. And you can see I'm running that with a lot of premium consumables. 10% additional crew skills. I'm running the 10% engine power, the 105 octane gasoline. I'm running premium shells because I want the max amount of splash damage. And you can see that the only thing that I'm missing is a camouflage right here. But from the get-go, we already lose the north. And that's something that happens in ranked that um, people tend to play very, very passively. And that's what I've noticed. And that's, I think, the reason why artillery is so effective in ranked game modes. Artillery, by wargaming standpoint at the moment, is completely fine. I think if you ask a lot of people, artillery is probably not fine, but that's an entire different topic. We're just going to be talking about artillery in this setting, artillery in ranked. The thing is, in ranked, people tend to be a bit more cautious, because obviously if you play bad, you're going to lose a chevron. If you play well, you're going to gain a chevron. So people are trying to get the maximum amount of XP, maximum amount of HP uh, and damage that they can while playing their vehicles. And how do they achieve that? Well, they achieve that by being way, way more passive than any other player would uh, play in the normal random queue. In the random queues, people usually tend to be more aggressive and in ranked people are very, very passive. 
That means that an artillery player, such as me, with my T92 right here, is able to take a lot longer, a lot more time. Battles last longer. Battle Battles last, like, almost 10 minutes on average. Like, that's 5 minutes more. Or, like, I think the average is 7 minutes. But in my opinion, the, the average in ranked battles is usually quite long. It's maybe, like, 5... Five minutes additionally like maybe 10 minutes is the average and if you're playing at artillery the only thing that you need to keep in in mind especially if the team is holding all the the corners is the the time because you need a lot of time to reload and not to get spotted by anyone or not to get um counter batteried by enemy artillery and you can see right there we put a massive shot into the udes 1516 uh, he was staying right there i don't know if he was afk or not but he was just sitting there and we knocked him out for 588 and uh, yeah i mean i have the biggest gun in the game it's a 240 millimeter cannon which does on average to uh, 1300 if you do manage to pen somebody but you can see like the 588 roll is still absolutely possible right there and yeah you can see that how quickly this this game has actually turned itself on its head because we just managed to um defend the base we held up the enemy counter-attack coming in from the north and then we destroyed the vehicles that decided to go into the middle and right there we did about 2000 damage to these guys and i think like artillery was more on the side to be not a damage dealing vehicle but more of a class that does like the stun damage assistance damage but i've noticed that people always carry their um many packs with them and that they do not want to get stunned so they immediately get that stun effect out because it just hurts your tank so much especially if a big artillery like the tier 10s one right here hit you you get like stunned for 20 seconds and in those 20 seconds a lot of things can happen so people tend to usually immediately use the med kit and i can totally understand that because it's the same thing i would do the thing is just that when they're doing that it allows us, the RD players, to just smack them over and over because we want to do the damage and because the assistance damage doesn't really work because people are um, deactivating the stun mechanic by utilizing the med kit. You kind of had, have to hit them like one or, once or twice um, afterwards again, and uh, you cannot let them. You cannot give them like 90 seconds because then the med kit will replenish and they will be able to use it again. So, yeah, artillery in ranked is absolutely a catastrophe because artillery can just sit in the back and artillery can be effective if they know what they're doing. You can see that I'm not really, I'm not a professional arty player. I don't really play a lot of artillery. I, in ranked, like this is the first ranked tier, uh, T92 game that I had now. And I can see why people are playing artillery in ranked because it's easy to sit in the back to do your damage to get your experience and in the end well maybe you're gonna win the game you're gonna get some chevrons or if you lose the game you can retain those chevrons because there is not the danger of having to put yourself out there like in a medium tank or a heavy tank where you have to shoot something and you have to see the vehicle to be able to shoot it now with the T92 or with any other artillery piece, you can just splash around, get a couple of um, HP worth of damage, and then you're going to be doing pretty damn okay. Uh, if you're going to lose a game, you're probably going to end, end up in the middle brackets where you retain your chevrons. If you do die um, and uh, the game, or if you have like a bad game, RNG is not on your side, but you still win. Well, you're going to get a she you're not going to lose a chevron because it's just going to stay there. So basically, artillery is like a safe option. It's an easy and safe option to play ranked game mode right here. The thing is now, yes, I understand why War Wargaming have added artillery in there because they are tier ten. They are a tank class that are part of this game. People absolutely dislike it, and I'm one of those guys that dislike artillery and yeah i mean it's still that was a terrible shot by the way right there but 
somehow it's weird because it still is in the ranked game mode and i think that artillery in the ranked game mode has such a huge impact on the game like i think we wouldn't have won that if i did not shoot those guys constantly with my big uh, 240 millimeter gun i think that's exactly one of the reasons why they were kind of afraid of pushing and by not pushing they stuck around there and they got annihilated by us and i could just shoot them over and over again it's kind of a, a very awkward scenario. I think that artillery is hurting the ranked game mode, in a sense. But I don't really see a solution right there. Wargaming will not take out artillery in the ranked game mode, because if you take out artillery in the ranked game mode, there are going to be some spots, some maps, where vehicles can just go haul down and completely be invincible. And um, that can happen, but... I think, generally speaking, without artillery, the the, the general enjoyment and the, the frustration curve would go down. The general enjoyment would probably go up for a lot of the tankers, especially vehicles that are, you know, very lightly armored. Um, I've noticed that when I was playing in my Leopard 1, that... Um, uh, let me just... Okay. Let me just turn the time back real fast so I can have a free camera right here. Yeah, the artillery. Oh, lol. This was not supposed to happen. Yeah, the artillery is a bit of an issue, in my opinion, for ranked. It's not just in ranked, but I've noticed that in a ranked game mode, having artillery is just very counterintuitive and very counterproductive because it's. The game, you know, is about something. You are trying to win or you're trying to be playing well. And uh, in the end, there are rewards waiting for you and there's a rank waiting for you and you want to achieve the maximum rank that you can achieve. But then having this very random kind of damage dealing thing in your game, the artillery piece, especially the, the Conqueror, the gun carrier, uh, Conqueror version, that thing, if that thing pops up, you already know that you're going to get smacked by artillery very, very heavily. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of artillery. I do not understand why it's such a big part of ranked. And now I can understand why a lot of people are playing artillery. Because it's pretty damn easy. It's easy to get good games. It's easy to get chevrons out of it. And um, I think that artillery should be definitely overworked for the ranked game mode. I don't know, maybe they should just r reduce the amount of artillery that can be in a game. Increase the um, amount of games where artillery is not allowed. Like, you know, have like a couple of games, have like four games without artillery and then two games with artillery. And then they could just, you know, get like a limit for the amount of games that you can play in a tier 10 artillery piece. Because that would be maybe giving you a bit of a advantage to keep the people from playing artillery over and over again and just utilizing it like this and just smacking you in the face over and over and you know alleviating the the frustration and uh, the the um the anger a little bit in this game mode because i've noticed that people are super toxic like I don't even know. People are super toxic. The team play is not really there. People are very selfish when they're playing ranked. That's one of the reasons why I did not enjoy ranked because you can, you can be sure that no one is going to help you if you're out there some, uh, somewhere and you're pushing a flank by your own. They're going to call you stupid for going that way by yourself. And I've noticed that a couple of times. But at the end of the, of the ranked game mode, I still managed to get the first division now on my first try. And... Um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get some more uh, chevrons out of it because I want to get into the silver league. At least I'm now currently at the top of bronze. I'm like um, four or five slots away from silver and then maybe I could go into gold if I play a lot more ranked. But the only reason I'm trying to play ranked right now is to get some of the bonds because there's a lot of bonds that you can get from ranked game mode and that's actually pretty damn sweet. So if I can get those bonds, I be, I'll be able to get the Kampfpanzer 50, um, which is like the reward tank, and then I can make a video about that. That's basically my my um, prerogative right there. But yeah, artillery in ranked, not a good combination in my opinion. I'd love to hear what you guys think about 
ranked game mode itself and what you think about the artillery in ranked. And yeah, write down in the comment section below. I'll see. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.